about that as an achievement. Tell me, what is your definition for you? What is it a definition for you to be a high performing woman? I ask everybody that comes on the show and everybody has a different answer. Yeah. I'm curious. I think, I'm yeah. I think it's a great question. And you know, when you shared that, you know, when you told told me in the prep, like I'm gonna ask you this, I was like, oh, I'm a high, high achieving women. Like I don't ever <laughs> I don't ever think I'm a high achiever. I know I'm- People, a, everyone's like, everything's like, go like, what? Who? Me? 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 I know I'm an overachiever, right? Like I, my family story is my family came here from India when I was eight months old with $6. My father has five college degrees. He's actually a genius. Um, he has 38 patents. And so, you know, when you compare yourself to somebody like that, you never feel, um, I thought I was dumb until I was in my forties, until I, my second year of grad school, I just thought I was dumb. Yeah. It's that quote, the comparison is the thief of joy. Right? Yeah. And so when your dad's a genius <laughs> and you're not good at math and science, you know, I just, you know, I'm glad I realize now that I'm intelligent, but you know, I always think to myself, you were like a fish being judged on your ability to climb trees, right? Yeah. Oh God, that's a good one. You yeah, know, and Einstein. I just think to myself, I can't like, take credit for it. That was Einstein. <laughs> oh, that's a good one. You know, I mean, honestly, it's like, I think to myself, like what, where would I be? What would my life look like if I knew I was smart from the beginning? Right? Like I didn't discover I was brilliant or smart until I was 38. So it's, it's a quandary. Like I'll never know, but it, and it does, it doesn't matter. Like I'm very happy with where my life is now. And so when you say high performing is, yeah. is really like getting in touch with your own genius. I, you know, for me being a, you know, and if you're going to call me a high performing woman, I'm going to take the compliment. Thank you. Yes. I'm going to say for me, what it means is never taking status quo always looking to improve the lives of not only yourself and your family, but others. Like my, my, one of my biggest drivers is to make the world a better place. One of my biggest drivers having left office was realizing I was only one person, you know, tooting the horn and screaming from the rooftops. But what if I left office and then trained hundreds and thousands of the next Mona Dosses, right? Like I was the first, you know, woman of color. I was the first woman from Bihar, which is the state that I was born in. I am the first person from the state of Bihar to ever be elected to federal or state office in the United States. And that was in 2018, right? Like we're still making right. curse as BIPOC women. And it it's frankly bullshit and it pisses me off. So the only thing that I could do to make that difference for the next generation was go out and train what I know, what I've learned as an entrepreneur, what I've learned as the not chosen candidate running for office, what I learned from a person who flipped a seat, what I learned as, um, you know, from grad school, like what I, my goal, like it's, it's, it's like legacy. Like I'm 52 now and I'm starting to use the word legacy. I'm, I am trying to build my legacy and what does that look like? And for me, I hope it's that I've inspired young women and young, young men, but mainly I focus on uh, mentorship of women um, other than my nephews, of course, um, uh, to, if I've inspired one to live their, what I call BHAG, big, hairy, audacious goal, it doesn't have to be running. Yes. It could be whatever it is, right? It doesn't have to be right. running for office. It's whatever that thing is for you, that thing that scares the shit out of you. And you know it's a BHAG if it scares you. If it doesn't yeah. actually scare you, it's not big enough. That's a great definition. I did some work with Jack Canfield. He used the word, he used that expression, BHAGs, uh, quite 